I'm currently reading this book by researcher Derek Lonsdale. It's called Thiamine Deficiency Disease, Dysautonomia, and High Calorie Malnutrition. What he argues in it, through a lot of complex organic chemistry and thousands of case studies from both history and current times, is that a lot of these cases of autonomic nervous system dysregulation, including things like dysautonomia and POTS and chronic fatigue syndrome, even things like neuropathy, are often a symptom of severe thiamine or B1 deficiency. B1 is depleted by a high intake of carbohydrates or sugar in the diet, high levels of stress, and infections, which makes sense when you think about how many people with these dysautonomic disorders start experiencing symptoms after a really gnarly viral infection and often have a history of a very high carbohydrate diet and other intensive life stressors. Severe B1 deficiency is called beriberi, and it's been described for a long time. So what he's arguing in this book is that what we're calling now POTS and dysautonomia is actually just another manifestation of beriberi disease. There's this really remarkable uh, case study in the book that I want to share. It was from 1976 in Japan, and a group of teenagers all came down with this really mysterious condition. They all had super low blood pressure, swelling in their lower extremities, heart palpitations, and numbness in their limbs. What they realized was that these kids had just been introduced to American sodas, and they were consuming massive amounts of sugar. It actually led to clinical beriberi, or B1 deficiency, because the high level of sugar intake was depleting their B1 so significantly. It's amazing how similar this symptomology is to people today who are struggling with um, all these kinds of dysautonomic post-viral syndrome like POTS and neuropathy. And yet I'm afraid that this issue is being overlooked in the treatment of these conditions. You may have to supplement B1 to really get your levels up, but it's very important to focus on foods like pork, tuna, salmon, halibut, and sunflower seeds, which are all high in B1 and very calorie dense, and really eliminate as much sugar and carbohydrate from the diet as possible so that your body can start to replenish this nutrient. My account is all about healing the brain and nervous system naturally, so follow along and get a lot more tips.